Hi, my name is Sean Remwick. Um, I'm 19 years old um, and thank you for taking the time to review my application. Um, so if you don't mind, first of all, I'd like to start with the questions that were given to me by the NYT. So first of all, what am I up to outside of it? Um, I'm a second year student at Brunel University of London where I study theatre and creative writing and I just love it. I love theatre and writing and so much so um, I've written a play that I've pitched to the Drama Society. I've done a lot of work with the Drama Society. In fact, this year I've been leading a lot, a lot of workshops with the games and exercises that I learned during the MIT intake course this summer. Because I just thought, you know, it's a brilliant way for everyone to get to know each other. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've written this play about a family of vampires that live in London during the modern day. And the daughter of the family is using Tinder to lure boys in for the family to feed on. It's a bit of a wacky idea. Um, but then she starts questioning the patriarchal views of the family once she genuinely falls in love with one of these people on Tinder. Um, so yeah, the Brunel Drama Society are going to be performing that very soon, which is really exciting. Um, an interesting thing that's happened in the last year and a half. As I said, I really like writing. I write a lot of short films, but um, over lockdown, I wrote my first actual film, about an hour and 20 minutes long. Um, and I just, because I love characters so much. I just, you know, what makes them, and I always find villains in films and plays the most interesting, um, especially Shakespeare villains like Iago and Othello, because they have really, really great qualities. So I thought, what if a film was made only of villains? What if everybody in a film was a bad guy? So I wrote this film, and I used to live in Prague, the Czech Republic, so I flew back during the summer just before the intake course, and I made it, wrote, produced, directed, and acted in it. Um, and it's finished and it's great and we're having our premiere um, over New Year's Eve in a cinema in Prague which I am thrilled about. I really can't wait for people to see it because I think it's great. And is there anything else that you guys should know? The final question. Um, nothing other than I'm a genuine creative person and I have a love for theatre and just people similar to me. When I'm, I've, I've been in theatre all of my life. I had eight years at the Prague Youth Theatre, professional work with the Prague Shakespeare Company. I've done feature films, TV, short films, and I'm never happier when I'm in them rooms. That is literally when I'm my most ha at my most happiest because I just, there's nothing I love more than just bouncing off people and creative people. I'm literally getting goosebumps just talking about this. Um, there's just nothing I love more than genuinely doing stuff like that. Um, yeah. Um, for the special talent that I would like to showcase, um, I'm a big fan of poetry. I write quite a lot of poetry. Um, so I've prepared a poem for you today um, that I'll read out and it is titled Why the Spotlight and it's about why I love acting so much and how it's helped me. <clears throat> Something you cannot give value. When the audience is sent into a kaleidoscope of dreams, not a huff, not a puff, lost in the translation of what they receive. You're loud, you're angry, you're quiet, you're sad until you drop to the floor and they respond with silence. It's better than any birthday present. I change. For better, for worse, for you, for me, for them, there's no right answer. My body, my voice, my mind, my soul warps, moulds, shifts until like clay I am new. For that second, that minute, that hour, that scene, I am not. Not what? Here, there, everywhere, I am not. To have, to hold, to command. 1,000, 500, 200, 150, 10, 1. It doesn't matter, not to me. It's not about me having the attention. Well, it is, but it isn't. It's about the journey. So let me take you on one. Join me, sit down and don't say a word and I'll take you somewhere, wherever you want to go. I will become anywhere, anyone. I will perform for you, but I will act for me. I transform. You watch, you listen, you feel, I feel, we feel. Is it to distract myself? Is it to help me understand you, you know, people? Is it to help me find my mind? There is no right answer. Where is your mind? It's not mine anymore. It's whoever you see, which is not me. I live, I breathe, I walk, I talk. The ultimate dedication. I will commit and transport me, you, us. That's why I do it. Does that answer your question? Thank you. Um, and now for the monologue. I will be playing Brian in Shopping and Fucking by Mark Ravenhill, and it's the um, money or civilization monologue. Thank you. Please enjoy. Life is hard on this planet. Intractable. And I know this because I feel this. Just like you feel this. You know, we, we work and we struggle, and at the end of the day, we find ourselves asking... What is this for? Is there meaning? You know, I can, I can see it in your eyes. 
You're asking yourself that question right now, yeah? What is there to guide me on my lonely journey? Hmm? Well, we need something. Whether it's to guide a talesman, a, a, a set of rules, or a, a, a compass to steer us through this everlasting night. And we spend our entire youth searching for this until we just... Some give up. Some say there's nothing. Hmm. There is chaos. We're born into chaos. But that, that is too painful. That is too awful to contemplate. And that we deny. Am I right? You know, my father said something to me once. And, and now I'm going to say the same thing to you. One day, my father looked at me and he said, Son, what are the first few words in the Bible? Oh, I don't know, Dad, I said. What are the first few words in the Bible? And he looked at me right in the eyes and he said, <clears throat> Son, the first few words in the Bible are get the money first. <laughs> get the money first. It's not perfect. No, I don't deny it, but... It is the closest we've come to meaning. Chaos or, or order, just meaning. Something that gives us meaning. You know, money is civilization and civilization is money. But civilization, how did we get here? By war, struggle, kill or be killed. And money is the same damn thing. The getting is tough, it's hard, but the having. Once you have it. Then you are civilized.